We're enjoying our lunchtime today with our good friend and dentist, Dr. Stephen Marsh, joins us from the office, of course, where he works, and he has his team surrounding him at Brainerd Place in Lyndhurst. Doctor, it's good to see you. Hi, nice to see you again, Joe. You know, Doctor, we're all very, very aware of PPE, personal protective equipment, but you've been utilizing PPE for as long as I can remember. Yeah, so we use obviously masks and gloves. And then last May, when we reopened May of 2020, um, we put on uh, different gowns. We now have filters in our office, a couple things that we wear differently. And we've actually chosen to wear it throughout the this past summer, 2021, and now with the variant and that sort of thing wearing into the fall. And I think, Joe, that's actually going to be part of our attire sure. for as many years as I uh, practice dentistry, which you know hopefully what? is many more. Well, no doubt about that. And it does send a great message that you are certainly taking all the necessary precautions above and beyond. Now, there's people that are coming in and out of your office now these days. Where, well, the masks aren't always on these days. So you know what? Their smiles are more important than ever. And you've helped so many patients. Well, thanks, Joe. You know, it's funny. People, as I had mentioned, they've seen their self, they've, they're, They've seen themselves, excuse me, on Zoom, and now they're going out a little more than they used to, going out to restaurants, reunions, weddings, and they realize how important it is to have a good smile, and this has been a good time for them to uh, take care of that. How about sharing some recent successes that you've uh, helped patients with? Let's I love this part. We get to see before and afters of your patients. Who's this? So this is Terrence, and Terrence is in the acting business. He's a coach uh, of acting. He's an actor himself. He's never liked the space between his teeth. It was a family tradition, he said, but he still wanted to close that space. The lower anteriors, the lower fronts were irregular. So I said, let's just reshape the lowers. Let's do some whitening on the uppers and lowers. Wow. Let's see if we can do this with bonding. And bonding, Joe, involved one appointment. He said for years he's, he's been bothered by it, and now in about two hours, we were able to close the space, make the lowers look better. And he said it was one of the best things he's ever done for himself. He is ready for his close-up. That's beautiful. Right. And who's this? So this is Shelby. Same sort of thing. Shelby was in her 30s. The teeth had turned dark over time. She actually ground her teeth quite a bit. You can see they're a little bit yellow and actually pretty straight across. She wanted more of a smile line. So we did some reshaping of the lowers to give us room. And then, Joe, we just did this with... Um, six uh, porcelain veneers. They look great. Her teeth were in the right mm -hmm. position, so we had very little uh, preparation to do. The veneers fit over the teeth and wow. gave her that beautiful smile. And again, she wishes she had done it years ago. <laughs> you hear that probably from every patient, no doubt. All right. Wow, this is a transformation, isn't it? It's a huge one. And, and this is a young woman physician. And she's actually moving from Cleveland and she had heard about us and said, before I move, I want to have an opportunity to do this. So we thanked her for that. She had had some bonding, Joe, 20 years ago. You can see those teeth had turned yellow from the bonding, mm -hmm. somewhat irregular, had ground her lower teeth down. So once again, lowers, we reshaped, whitened them. And we were able to do this, Joe, with four porcelain veneers, some bonding on the side. And she said, again, life changing. And now that she's going to a new job in a different right. city, she said, I feel much more confident in how I'll see my patients and uh, the people I work with. Talk about a new beginning. And we have time for one more patient. And who is this? And this is Sarah, one of my favorites. So for years, she had not been happy with her smile, very gregarious, warm person, but didn't smile as much as she wanted to. And she had actually had some repairs done with bonding. You can see a dullness on the left side of the screen in the before picture. So we took off the bonding. We did 10 porcelain veneers, reshaped the bottom again, focused on the upper. She wants to do the lowers in the future. And she said, once again, she meets with a lot of people in politics and in her job. And she said, I really feel good about myself. And uh, I'm thrilled that I took the time to do it. Well, whether you're seeing people in person, your friends and family on Zoom, whatever the case, that smile of yours could be improved greatly by Dr. Marsh and his team. To get in touch with them, it's 440-461-1003 or log on to the website. An awesome website, I might add clevelandsmiles.com. Doctor, thank you so much. And thank you, Joe.